Um, well, I wear very many hats here at Bigelow Labs, and one of those hats is the director of the flow cytometry facility, but I'm also a phytoplankton ecologist at heart, started off in harmful algal blooms. And um, what I just want to briefly talk to you about is a little bit about the facility and a little bit about what I've been doing lately. So what we're doing here at the facility is, as many of you know, this is one of the oldest facilities here at the laboratory. It was established in 83 and by Dr. Clarice Yench, one of our co-founders. And what we do here is we now actually have five different flow cytometers here at the laboratory and multiple, doing many different things um, to all of the aquatic science community specifically. But we also specifically look at the particle size spectrum. And as I said, I'm very interested in phytoplankton. So I look at different sizes of phytoplankton and what groups they fit within going from very, very small down to the micro, um, micrometer size all the way up to hundreds of micrometers in size. I'm also very interested in looking at abundances of organisms with collaborators and such. Um, we do this in Environment Canada, um, a group. We look at lakes all around Canada. And one of the big things we do, because four of our instruments are cell sorters, we actually separate particles from the environment. And we do this for many different reasons. Field isolation, culture purification, and DNA clean techniques for single cell sorting, for example. Um, another thing that we do, as you can see here, is part of my own research, is we take actually the facility to sea. We can actually take these instruments and actually put them on ships and take them out. And this is actually me on the boat in 2013, and I actually just returned yesterday myself from another cruise as well. And on the, on the right here, you also have me working in the laboratory with Single Cell Genomics Center. So one of the projects I really want to talk about is the importance of particulate organic carbon. That's one of the parts of the global carbon cycle that I'm very interested in. And phytoplankton is a member of that global carbon cycle, and specifically particulate organic carbon. And this is a NASA-funded based project, and we're looking at sensors that NASA utilizes, like satellites, for example, as well as in situ optical measurements that you can use to look at particulate organic carbon, or POC. So what we're doing here is actually trying to estimate particular organic carbon from space and to be able to understand what makes up particular organic carbon. And one of those players, as I said, is the particulate community. And, and that comprises phytoplankton. So, excuse me. So, what I'm very interested in is understanding how important is particle, excuse me, um, phytoplankton size and co um, species composition to that particle community. So, here briefly is a cruise track that looks at the changes in chlorophyll from space. You can actually see it here going from the north to the south. And this is looking at along a trophic gradient where um, we have chlorophyll on the left and POC on the right, and these are changes, and I'm now looking at how it's variable both in size fractionation as well as looking at particle, the changes in actually the community composition, how those are affecting particle, um, particular organic carbon.